Addie Herman, I got belief was second place in NSC last year, and she won the Obstacle Academy um, NSC earlier this season. Just had super strong performance all three stages. No problem. Swinging on the Lachey lane. Turning that corner real quick for the bongo bounce. Good commitment. Keeping those feet up for that dismount. Right away attacking that slide on the way down. A little outstretched on the grab, but great grip strength. Able to hold on. Check that footwork. One, two, three on the side there. Nice job. And you can see on the bottom of your screen, with every obstacle completed, Addy is moving up and up in the ranks of the top ten currently in seventh place, but I do expect her to move, if not at the top, very close to it. Again, definitely an athlete that can complete all the rest of the obstacles in this course. Chalking up before going on to the cliffhangers. I think we'll see the 180 tech out of her today. This girl can 180 on vertical limits. And so I'm really actually quite shocked at what I'm seeing right now. Going for the match tech instead. I just feel a little more comfortable going with this straight tech for, for a change. Going for that reverse style tech. No problem on these holds. Just needs to get that dismount. So far, so good. Has a whole minute and 30 seconds left to complete these final two obstacles. They do have the X-Wing obstacle at Vitality, something she's been training on. Looks like she has plenty left in the tank. Let's see her get through this. Ooh. Ooh. Decided to try to static it right away, but the magnets drop. There isn't any resistance to those flying squirrel handles. And it looks like she was going for the set and just missed with that hand. I think you'll see her lock it in here. Deciding to go at the same time. Look at the power. Two swings all the way up. Gets the grab. And I think she's going to have to execute this ice pick obstacle. First try. Get the chalk. That's going to be slippery on the way down. Power is still looking good. Using more momentum here. There's the next transfer. We got one more transfer up. Just a little shy, but we got time for another go. Just going to have to move quick on this final attempt. But even with that slip, she is still in first place by making it there just a little faster than Abby. But she wants to get that clear, get that experience for the next round, and that's going to do it for Addy on her run. Impressive stuff that puts her in first place. Anybody who follows my Instagram knows I'm at Waffle House almost every week, but Mr. Colton... We're ready for some flapjacks after this. Making his way through the steps. Well, hopefully there's no pancakes on this course. No. <laughs> nice slinks all the way through. Looking for the bounce off. The bongo. Good commitment there. Doesn't even come close to bottoming out. And right away onto the slider. Kip and back and gets a good arch. Making his way through. Looking for the quick steps here. One, two, three on down one side. Skipping at last lily pad. Colton looking smooth thus far. Colton Super going Super Saiyan out there. Swinging his way through. A sub minute to this point. I believe this might be one of our faster paces. Spinning his way around. Yeah, you can see he's going to be a few, oh, he's going to be about 30 seconds ish past the fastest time through the cliffhangers here. Oh, yeah. Puts him into first place. Excellent job. Yeah, incredible pace. It's going to give him a lot of breathing time and some time to figure this out. The wholesome Folsom. Yeah, he's going to get three good shots at this. Hopefully, only needs one. Oh, he's going up. Big throw, clipping it in and latches on with the drop down and going for the dismount. Gets oh, it in one. Oh boy. Excellent work. Knew he had the power in there. He just was able to accomplish a quint skip on a salmon liner. That's five rungs up. And no problem on the salmon slider. 
Kind of go out and around those holds, and now he's got to make it to the dismount here. Pipe slider finish. Our first clear. Colton Supa. Impressive job at 1 minute 50 seconds. No errors whatsoever. Addy Herman on the move. Addy had a similar run to Abby Clark's getting to that final ice pick obstacle. Again, one of those athletes with just a lot of great focus. You'll probably see the first part of this course here looks similar to her open run. Really strong, solid, linking all those moves. Nice bounce through that bongo. Nice kick back in, grab on to the rope transfer. Good power through those steps as well, not posing any issues for it thus far. Just as strong as she did in the open round. Take a second to adjust that momentum. Just so quickly and easily through these first six obstacles right here. One of the few female athletes we saw throwing those 180 moves on the cliffhangers. Likely see her... Oh, no, actually, we were talking about that. She didn't do the 180 move on those mm. cliffhangers. I wonder what sort of technique we'll see out of her for this one. Going with the match tech again. Stand locked off. Trying to power through this portion of the cliffhanger route. That reverse tech to swing out makes it a little easier to get your body in a position for that transition over. And gets the clear on the cliffhanger route. Now her one fail in her open wave was here. Just a little slip up on the link to the squirrel, the flying squirrels. I don't think we'll see her make that mistake again. About two minutes here. Get through these last few obstacles. Oh, right away into it. Not taking any time. Big backswing. Great catch on the reverse grab. Gets on through one and done. So efficient. Probably the most efficient we have seen that obstacle executed here today. Yeah, short work on that flying squirrel combo. Here we go on the ice pick climb. Time out these moves. Be accurate with these hook moves. Before the transition down. Good control. Staying nice and straight with her swing and gets on out of there. Good stuff. Now we just got to finish out strong here. Now one advantage that Addy has is she did get to see Abby Clark do this uh, obstacle right before she went. She's coming up on three minutes here. Abby Clark cleared the course in 3.32. So plenty of time for Addy to take that top spot if she can get this obstacle first try. Let's see how she does. Pulling that ring back. Nice and high on the spider wall. Going to have lots of momentum. Bingo! Wedge it in there. Come on, get out. And Addy, nice job. Full clear for Addy Harriman. So I'll let you get a drink of water if you need. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so that puts you in first place. I think you know that no fails, a clean run on the hybrid. But right at the end there, it looked like he almost were falling back. What happened? Um, so I was going into it and like I was like spotting it and felt fine. And then I started just like leaning backwards and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So I like tried everything I could to save it. And I guess it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out great, and you got a buzzer, clean run, sitting in first place. You know, last year at the NSC at this exact facility that uh, you took second place. Does that, you know, factor into your mind at all when you're competing here in the open, the hybrid? Um, yeah, I think it definitely just pushes me just to, like, like, be better than what I was previously. Like, try to, like, improve from myself and, like, my own performance. So that's what I've been trying to do this whole time. Yep, and we know you already have one first place this year, but um, you know the speed last year, specifically here at Stanford, was a little rough. Not, it's pretty uncharacteristic for you. Have you been working on that kind of stuff? And what are you, what are you thinking before speed is next? Um, I've definitely been working on speed a lot, so I'm trying to have confidence going into it. But it definitely is like a worry in my mind, just because usually that's like my worst 
um, course in the finals, but I'm actually excited for it. I'm excited to see what happens. I think everybody's excited. You're sitting in first right now. Great place to be sitting. Congrats. Thank you. Coming up, but he's all the way from, let's see, Castle Rock, Colorado. Let's see how he does here. Going for some big swings all the way through. On that Lachey lane. Oh my gosh, so fast. Coming on out the bongos and no problem on that road crab. One, two, three. Give a quick footwork there. Said he's not a morning person and he doesn't drink any caffeine. More than likely will be tired by the time this happens. <laughs> These are long competitions, but don't want to have to rely on that caffeine as I sit here and drink my coffee <laughs> through the day. <laughs> Noah going for the spin around on oh, these cliff ledges. Quick transition off and sub minute to this point. Three obstacles to go. Good control going up. Oof, hopping on down, linking these throws with that cane. Up and into the hook. And looking for the bar. See how he does on this slippery salmon slider. Looking like we're going for a little bit of a walk tech going up. Oof. Overshoots, but that's okay. You got that track right there to keep that bar in play. Gets the pipe over a little closer to the edge. Trying to check those corners. Make sure it doesn't slide back too much on them. Hollows out. Gets a big pull. On to ring around the rosy. Got some change of direction tech that you got to put on display here. Grabbing one, grabbing two, and swings on out of there with a full clear. Noah Munir screaming at the <laughs> camera. This man is hype. Good stuff. First full clear, no fails, exactly that's how good. you wanted to go. Is there anything that you felt like was a mistake? That was honestly like, that's one of those runs that you can only like dream of. That only happens like once a year, honestly, because that was like strictly according to play and I couldn't have asked for anything more, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it looked amazing, 208, blazing fast. It's gonna be really hard to beat, but during your run, you were asking, what's Jay's time? Where was Jay at? That kind of thing before you run, right at the end too. How much, I mean, you must compete against him a lot out here in the East Coast, right? You know, yeah. Yeah, um, Jay's a big one, Caden's another big one. I know there's a lot of top dogs, and if I need to keep myself up there, I need to constantly be checking myself against them so that I can beat them. Well, you are right now sitting in first place. I know there's a lot of people left, but that's a great spot to be sitting. Yeah, man, thanks very much. I mean, I'm excited for speed and burnout, too. A lot of confidence soaring into the next rounds. All right, congrats. Excited to see it. Thanks, dude. Dude, awesome, man. Could be a well-rounded athlete here. Let's see how those skills translate to the speed style courses here for Ninja. Excellent at skipping that last step over, under, and over. I'm excited to see the technique on the Lachets here reaching all the way through. There's a link, there's another. Nice pullback. There it is. Oh, nice job, Jordan, just flying through here, making short work, great tic tac across, using those strike shoes, putting that parkour skill to the test. Incredible time here, needs to get this tricky dismount. One and done for Jordan Carr, 38.9. So smart. So last year in this event, you took first overall and first in the speed. Right now, 38 seconds, that's the fastest time by like seven, nine seconds actually. How's it feel? It feels really good. Um, I really like speed courses and this aspect of just NSM in general because it's just like super fun and the courses are flowy and parkour -y and just like super fun. Yeah, and you've been training track a lot for the past year, right? So I mean, do you think it affects your speed even more so than last year? Definitely. This time last year, I was just getting into track and um, so, you know, I was really nervous coming to this competition because 
I haven't really done Ninja. I've done it a handful of times in the past three months. So I was really nervous. Well, you but. shouldn't be because you're sitting in first overall so far right now. Thank you. Congrats. Let's see what he's got for the speed. Here we go. Back in the track. Get that ladder coming on through. Big jump up and over and cuts that cuts that vault so it doesn't want to accidentally hit that pad and starts his way through the Lachey lane. Good swing through, skipping what he can. Check the tech on the side, just one, skipping the first step entirely. That's a great beta break. Straight to the ring, skipping and 27.5. Sub 30, I said Interview. where we're going to see one. He delivers right away, no Munir. So we were wondering, looking at this course, if we'd see sub 30. You just put up 27 seconds. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, honestly, I, I didn't know what I was doing going into this course. I was pretty worried. Speed is definitely my weakest point. And so um, I tried to like pull together a lot of like skips and moves that I didn't know if other people would be as confident on. So I just sent it because I have no other option, <laughs> to be frank with you. So um, made it happen. It wasn't as quick as I wanted it to be, but I still pulled out the moves, and that's what like got it good, I think. <laughs> uh, 27 is pretty good. It's going to be hard to beat. I mean, I know still a lot of competitors left, but first place in the hybrid, sitting in first in the speed, first overall, how confident would that leave you going into the burnout? Honestly, I've just been riding the wave. After I warmed up in the open round, I felt really good going into the hybrid, really good going into the speed and the burnout. I'm just like ready. <laughs> All right, excited to see you on the burnout. Congrats, man. One of our last hopes here for a full clear, but a very strong hope. Abby is a very smart athlete. We mentioned this is a very fingertip intense course, and that is one of her strengths. She's also a very smart athlete. We know that she's been watching people making that transition on the cliffhanger helicopters. She's going to have a plan on how to execute that. Pop through these unstable bridges. Go ahead and latch on. Moving through at a good pace. He's going to bump her up into second place currently overall. He's going to put that upper body on display here, being able to through great job great transition I think the difference we just saw between Abby and some of the other athletes is she was very confident with that hand placement and she prepared herself to move with both of the boxes really really smart moves yeah, I gotta be able to commit for those transfers a little bit more bucket of chalk provided dry out those hands got that pinch tech Now the athletes have as much rest time as they want, but an overall course time limit of five minutes, which is a little bit different from most um, burnout styles. Usually it's a 30 second time limit, and she's got that move. Too tight here. Got to go down to these small T bars. Good pinch tech, and only hands here are allowed on that thin I beam. You can see overhead how small of room they've got for the fingertips. Nice transition, controlling that swing. Now going for a cliffhanger style move. Fighting for that rock hold and gets the point, clearing that eye beam transition. And that's gonna be a good run for Abby. So that run puts you in first in the burnout, first overall, and still no finishers on this burnout course. <laughs> what is happening out here? Oh man. Um I don't know, it hits you really fast. Um, I felt really good up through, basically through the cliffhangers and the splats for the most part, but taking a rest, it almost like kind of caught up to me. So I didn't want to take any longer of a rest because I didn't want to get worse. But um, and then I, was, I felt decent for what it was up until the, the little ledges. <laughs> um, and then but I that was long, yeah, yeah, it was long. Um, so once I got towards the end, it was just there wasn't much left. Yeah, seeing some so. athletes go faster, go a little slower, trying to rest as they go through this first section. You mm -hmm. didn't rest at all. You just kept moving through the whole thing to get to that first rest. That's the plan? Yeah, yeah. My plan was as efficient as possible and just get to, like, the next rest spot um, instead of taking my time slowly. Um, I felt pretty comfortable on everything, so I just wanted to get through it and 
get some rest. <laughs> Working out pretty well for you so far, yeah. sitting in first place with only run one runner left to go. Congrats. Thank you. Paul Woods currently sitting in fourth in the last qualifying spot with 19 points. If Tom takes first, he'll be, he'll be sitting at 18 points, and Paul would bump down to 18. Oh, man, you're going to take away Paul's dessert. <laughs> Doesn't make it into the finals. Tom, try to lock this in, though. But yeah, Stratt, I think it's going to take a first place finish here for Tom to get into the qualifying spots. I had a very unfortunate fall in the speed round, trying to get through the tic-tac across the walls and was unable to do so in those three attempts, but got some good upper body endurance. Trains at the other Ninja Academy in Hamden. So might be familiar with some of these structures. Let's see if you can put it all together here. Stanford. His lock off on the book end and gets that first active rest at under a minute. Quick pace to this point. Just enough time to chalk up real quick to refresh that grip and moving on now for the ring ladder. Yeah, I mean, I wonder. It's a curious uh, thing, you know, nobody's finished yet. I wonder if he's trying to push the pace so that he can get to the vertical limit the fastest or if he's going to try to set himself up to be the only clear up to this point. It's an interesting question. Yeah, later in the run order, you know what you have to beat, so do you decide to just shoot for that? It's, it's towards the very end, so it's a challenging time to beat. I don't think there's going to be many others that's going to be able to Push past it. Tom setting a good pace here. Well, Noah was there in 2.56. That is the time to beat. He's cruising here. He's going to have some slimy clip hangers. He wants to get really close. Not take any extra risks for that next active rest. 2.56 is the time to beat. So he's got to get through. Yeah, he's going for it right here. I get through the bar slider, get down to the cliffhanger. Try to take that clean sweep away from Noah. Careful on the transition, that bar almost sliding off. No! Oh. The pace that he was pushing he caught was up to him at the end. It. So, Tom, right now that puts you in first place in the burnout. Uh, you got to that point faster than anybody else who's gotten there. No one's cleared. And that actually puts you in fourth place overall. None of the top four are qualified for the championship, so it all comes down to what Colton does here. Talk to me, what are you thinking? So, me and Colton are pretty good friends. I hope he does great. Hope I do better. <laughs> but, I know he can crush. He's very strong, very agile. He can definitely do this. Yeah, I think we'd be really excited to see either one of you guys in the championship. Do you think if either one of you do or don't qualify, we're going to see you again another NSC qualifier this for year? For sure, I'll be back. Well, we might see the championship, so we'll have to hold out and see, but we hope we see a lot more of you. All right, thank you. Awesome.